Yes. 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 Hello everyone, this is Lord of Games, and today I'm going to be reviewing a game I used to like a lot when I was young, and it's called LEGO Racers. Now, this game is really old, and it's really glitchy, so yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that. But this is my favorite racing game, and here's why it's my favorite. Because um, you get to customize your vehicle and all the other stuff. Like here, watch. First, we must customize a racer. Alright, now let's pick that. Okay, now you can either pick the mix button, or you can customize it yourself. Like, okay, hmm. Now there's a lot of stuff that we can pick from, so, um, uh, why not I pick the wizard hat? There we go. Now I can literally be a skull, or every other of those things. And, uh, yeah, you can make them look like the actual character, like the wizard, or you can just make them look so weird. Alright, how about a, a wizard hat, night shirt, and space pants? There we go. Now, for some reason, writing down your name is the hardest part here, because it's kind of hard, because you see those buttons down there? Um, this game was made for the uh, Nintendo 64. And I'm playing it on PC, so yeah, it's going to be a lot different. There we go. Now let's start with the best part, actually building the car. Alright, now this was a really good part about the game. Now you can give it different themes like a normal theme, space theme, medieval theme. Let's go with the medieval theme because the wheels are big. Now you can do the quick build, which I didn't like. So, I just customize it. Okay, just looking at this, it looks like you're gonna have fun immediately. So basically, you get to place bricks anywhere on the car. Now, it doesn't matter how many bricks you have, it won't get heavy, it won't change at all. You can make the car literally have nothing on it, or make it a giant piece of butter, and it can still work fine. Alright. Let's make a blue car. Uh, yeah, it matches my hat. Alright, this might take a while. Now, these aren't just the only bricks. If you use the arrow keys on the PC, uh, you can change different theme bricks. Like, here's a racer's theme where you can have, like, headlights or the, um, the whatever you call that thing. You can add flags and, uh, ooh, what about those things? Yeah. Now there are the other themes, like there's a space theme and a medieval theme. The best part about the medieval theme is it has uh, these uh, things, I think they're called a lance, I think. And those triangle things over there. Now here's a cool thing that you can do. You can add torches that add flames to the vehicle. The only problem is the torches don't move. So yeah, we have torches on our car now. <laughs> okay. I am done with the car, now let's start up the race. Arr, on the high seas or on land. You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard, so give it up, matey. Arr, da, 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 da. Okay, so the race is starting. Now you can get a boost, but it's super hard to get. Ha! <laughs> 
and we're off. Now you can already see that there's some different colored Lego bricks. Well, those are items, but what makes them special is each item has its own purpose. Like the red one is attack, the blue one is a shield, the green one is boost, and the yellow one drops oil. And the white one, it makes your items a lot better. But you can't spam like the overpowered items because the other AIs can take it. Like for an example, this one. This one opens a portal to first place. Now the only problem is if you accidentally run into other bricks, you can lose the item that you already have. Now here's the grappling hook item I saved up. You better use it right. Because sometimes I use it and I accidentally run into the enemies and I give them a boost. Now there's the rocket. It's basically the red shell. But you throw three of them. Okay, come on. I'm in third place. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, I can do this. Uh, oh, green brick. Okay, come on. I can do this! I can do this! Oh, a Pascal the red beard. He's right behind me. Quick, 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 quick. Yes! Uh, you know, I should really be recording Rare Replay. Yeah, I should do that right now. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I got a rare achievement. Oh, got that on camera. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Nobody knows why it's called Nuts and Bolts instead of Banjo 3, which everyone was waiting for for literally like um, 20 years. Okay, let's start the game. I like how you can hear Battletoads in the background. Well, here's Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. People have been playing Banjo-Tooie ever since like 1999, I think. And this is what we get after nine years of waiting. They, well, not they, Microsoft ruined everything about Banjo-Kazooie. You think I'm joking? No, they ruined everything about it. Remember all those cool moves like Kazooie running and um, Banjo being able to fight or Kazooie shooting eggs or the Wonder Wing? They got rid of everything good about this game. So there's literally no purpose of it being called Banjo Kazooie. What's the purpose of this game? puzzles and let me just show you what they did cars they thought that they can change everything about banjo kazooie and they expect this to change everything about banjo kazooie well, it did change everything. And now, Rare is out of business because of this game. Now, this is just the beginning. This is supposed to be Mumbo's Mountain, I think. And this game is basically a game where you use cars. Oh, did I ever mention it's not just cars? Oh yeah, you see that thing? That's supposed to be an enemy. All it does is roll around. That's it. Now this game isn't just about that one particular car. It 
it's about multiple cars that you can customize and build and turn them into flying cars. And literally, you can make them really huge. Like, here's an example. Oh yeah, I put a gun on mine. A gun in Banjo-Kazooie. Like, I remember you were able to turn Kazooie into a gun, but there was no actual gun in the game. But, here was the funny part I did. Oh yeah. Submarine. I can literally turn this thing into a submarine. Now, it transformed. Now, it's a flying pill. This game is basically a sandbox game now. You better watch out. It's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner power. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This looks like something you would see in Gmod. Just a giant vacuum cleaner you can drive. Anyway, remember how in Banjo Kazooie the game was built around finding the Jiggies? Well, now you have to do quests to find the Jiggies. So that leads this entire world completely empty. This world almost has no purpose. Like, what's in here? Oh, that looks like a good place for a Jiggy. No Jiggy there. Ooh, look at those big gears. Maybe if we stop it, we can unlock a Jiggy. Let's see and find out. Nope, no Jiggy. That's what made Banjo-Kazooie maps so special. You don't know what you can find in all these places. But now they just got rid of all of that. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a map, when like 90% of it is useless. Why is there a yellow tree? Useless. If it wasn't Banjo-Kazooie ra related, Rare could have still been around nowadays. Do you know what they should have called this game? Instead of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, it should have, instead of it being Banjo-Kazooie related, it should have been called Blastcore 2 Nuts and Bolts. It would have made sense. Because Blast Core is literally an entire game about cars. Now, I know you just destroyed stuff, but still, at least Blast Core 2 would look even better than this. Oh, yeah. Here's the quests. Now, there's apparently something better than a Jiggy now. Okay, it looks like we have to use this car for our quest. And that's it. And I did say that they got rid of everything good about this. Remember that thing where everybody liked? 
where um, Banjo Kazooie can get the jiggy. Well, they got rid of that. And now, Kazooie doesn't eat the jiggy anymore. Now, you have to go back to the main world. Oh yeah, look at that. Gruntilda is literally sitting out in the open. When I could just obviously do this to her this early in the game. You can literally uh, see her at the very uh, beginning of the game and you can just run her over all the time. Including her cat. So first, you're supposed to find one of these for this specific map that you're in. Now, you're probably wondering why is there like a number 6 on the same map? Well, they copied and pasted the same map, but added different quests. And you see this thing? You're supposed to spin that thingy, grab the jiggy, and put it up there. That's how you get a jiggy. Oh yeah, you see this place? Yeah, forget Mumbo's skull. Mumbo's workshop. Now you see this little uh, purple thing? You're supposed to put crates on top of it. Talk to Mumbo and he'll give you parts. No more magic. It's just that. Oh yeah, let me show you how you customize vehicles. Honestly, it should have been called Blast Core 2. You put seats, you put wheels, you put power, like jets. You put in the fuel. If you want a storage, ammo, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie driving around with an ammo box, weapons, a refrigerator, an egg turret, a flamethrower, egg gun, grenade gun, and so much more. A laser. <sighs> and an EMP. An EMP. Alright, let's test out our car. Oh wait, I forgot. You're supposed to add an engine. Let's add one of these. Wow, and it still can't drive. Why? Nuts and bolts. This really beats the original game that everyone liked. And nobody ever asked for this. Hey dog, get some ice cream? It's only a spoonful. Well, there you have it. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Now there's bottles. He doesn't teach him moves anymore. There's different worlds. 
there's coins, which is the uh, music notes, which is used to buy car parts. So yeah, here's Banjo Kazooie, everyone that has been waiting for for years. And this is what they get. To make it even worse, this is the last game Rare has ever made in 2008. So this game was so bad, it ended Rare. So, that is all for Rare Replay. Leave a comment on what your favorite game was. I see a lot of people like the Grab by the Ghoulies video. So yeah. I shall see you in the next Terraria video. Bye bye.